Is the ISF filing required for goods imported for distribution to multiple retail locations within the U.S.? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to deep dive into the topic of Importer Security Filing or ISF and its requirements for goods imported for distribution to multiple retail locations within the U.S. If you are a customs broker or an importer involved in international trade, this video is for you. So, let's get started. ISF filing has become an essential part of the customs clearance process for goods entering the United States. It is a requirement under the Customs Trade Partnership Against Terrorism CTPAT, program. The purpose of the ISF filing is to enhance the security of inbound shipments by providing important information to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, prior to the cargo being loaded onto a vessel at the foreign port. Now, let's address the question at hand. Is ISF filing required for goods imported for distribution to multiple retail locations within the U.S.? The answer is yes. When goods are imported for distribution to multiple retail locations within the U.S., they are typically delivered to a distribution center first. The distribution center acts as a central hub, where the goods are stored, sorted, and then further distributed to the retail locations. Even though the goods are not directly going to the retail locations, an ISF filing is still required. The reason for this requirement is that the ISF filing serves as a crucial security measure for the entire supply chain. By filing the ISF in advance, CBP has access to important information about the imported goods, such as the shipper, consignee, and details about the cargo. This allows CBP to assess the risk associated with each shipment and take necessary security measures, if required. Additionally, the ISF filing also facilitates the timely release of the cargo. Without a valid ISF filing, the shipment may face delays or even be subject to penalties. Therefore, it is crucial for customs brokers and importers to ensure that the ISF is filed accurately and on time. Another important aspect to consider when importing goods for distribution to multiple retail locations within the U.S. is the requirement of a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures the payment of duties, taxes, and other fees to CBP. It acts as a form of insurance that protects the government's revenue and ensures compliance with customs regulations. When importing goods for distribution, a continuous customs bond is typically required. This type of bond covers multiple shipments throughout a specific period, usually one year. It provides a cost-effective solution for importers who frequently import goods for distribution purposes. To navigate the complex customs clearance process, it is highly recommended to engage the services of a licensed customs broker. A customs broker is a professional who is knowledgeable about customs regulations, documentation requirements, and can assist with filing the necessary paperwork, including the ISF and customs bond. They ensure compliance with regulatory requirements, thereby minimizing the risk of penalties and delays. When importing goods for distribution to multiple retail locations within the U.S., both the ISF filing and a customs bond are required. The ISF filing provides crucial information about the incoming shipment, allowing CBP to assess security risks and expedite the clearance process. The customs bond, on the other hand, guarantees payment of duties and taxes, ensuring compliance with customs regulations. Thank you for watching our video on the requirements of ISF filing for goods imported for distribution to multiple retail locations within the U.S. We hope you found this information valuable and informative. If you have any further questions or topics you would like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Disclaimer note below. We look forward to seeing you in our upcoming videos. Until then, take care and stay tuned.